So, hi Lisa, how are you doing? Good, how are you today, Chris? Fantastic. Good, good. Um, looking awfully colourful today, what's going on? Well, it's because today I am Chris Purple. And we're doing this, as you are, to raise awareness for epilepsy on International Purple Day. You've gone so, all in. I'm, 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 <laughs> as you have. So thank you so much for the way you've made the bread shop dress. It looks fantastic. Thank you. Great. But tell me, you've got some experience of epilepsy, I believe. Well, actually, I was really keen to participate in this Purple Day because it was all about raising awareness of epilepsy. And exactly. I was actually shocked when I read the information that your team sent through that one in a hundred people are affected by epilepsy. Yep. And yet, it rang very true to me because I, in the last year, have come across probably at least half a dozen people really? in my close inner circle who I'm finding out deal with epilepsy on a regular basis. Okay. Um, we've actually had one staff member join our team who is a young person, and as they joined our team, they very matter-of-factly let me know, you know, you need to know I have epilepsy, and we've been struggling to control the seizures lately. So they disclosed that when they joined? They did. Wow, they so did. how did you handle that, Lisa? Well, I have to admit, as soon as he told me, that, my heart started racing, and I thought, oh, I, I don't know enough about this. How yeah, am I going to make yeah. sure that I'm, you know, yeah. caring for him well should something happen? And, and I was so impressed with this young man because he was just very matter-of-fact, very calm about it, and said, well, now, if this happens, if I'm down for more than five minutes, you need to call 999. And in my head, I'm thinking, if you're down for one minute, I'm calling 999. Yeah. You know, I would be so frightened, and, yeah. and I wouldn't know what to do. And so, But he was really good about educating me on Fantastic. how to make sure he was positioned safely, how to administer his medication, should he need it, when to call 999. Um, I just... I have really been in awe watching this young person deal yeah. with really quite a scary illness, yep, yep. you know. Um, and well, it sounds like he's been very mature about it been. in terms of sharing his experiences with you yeah. so that you can best support him. Yeah. And just you being calm and, and understanding his needs will make a big difference to him here, I'm sure. That's, that's encouraging. And it, it really was the Epilepsy Society's website that then also further helped us and finding information about how we can be yeah. of best support to him, what yeah. kind of questions we could be asking uh, to help understand his needs and to help him best. And um, so, yeah, so we're, I just dipped my toe in the water and I thought, well, this would be a right. good chance for me to hopefully learn a little bit more to be more supportive of the people who are oh, around me. Oh, thank you so much.